I have to wait to start. What? Come in here. Close the door. What is that? I guess they're fucking vacuuming or plowing in their house. I don't know. It's fucking loud. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing a highly requested video from you guys on my previous copycat beauty review. I am going to be doing a makeup look with the go-to slash copycat beauty peach sangria palette, but I'm going to add in a verse, the original Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. So this eye will be the original and this eye will be the fake. The reason that they look so similar right now is because I did go ahead in and do all with the original palette because I didn't want you guys to see the results until the end of the video. I am super excited to be doing these. I definitely have to tell you I was quite surprised at the results. So as always guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it at the bottom of this video so you can be instantly notified when I upload. I do upload three days a week right here at the bottom of the screen at 5 p.m. Eastern time every single week. You really want to get those instant notifications and become part of the hive. We have a lot of fun here. We do a lot of super fun videos, makeup tutorials, makeup reviews, product reviews, all kinds of challenges and fun stuff guys. You really want to be able to get the instant notifications so you don't miss any of the good stuff that we do here on this channel. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. We love you and we missed you. Let's get into today's video. So I went ahead and I zoomed you on in so you can take a closer look at what I'm doing. So like I said in the introduction, I will be doing one side with the Copycat Beauty Peach Sangria palette that is a duplicate of the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette and I'll be doing that on this side. So Copycat Eye, Too Faced Eye. So I'm going to be doing the same exact colors from each palette to kind of see the difference. And let's get into it. So I'm going to open up the Too Faced one so I have it kind of like as reference for color purposes because the Copycat Beauty do not have colors. The first color I'm gonna go in is gonna be Caramelized. It is a lighter, it's actually the only peach color in the palette. And that's kind of like an issue I have with the whole Sweet Peach palette when it first launched, because it was supposed to be based on peaches, but there was only really one peach color in the whole palette. So this one actually seems to have two peaches because that one is a little bit more pink. But I'm gonna go in with Caramelized in my crease and I'm gonna go ahead and blend it up. I am using the Morphe M441 and let's get this look started. It's actually not bad, it blends out really well. I did do a full like first impression review of a large amount of the Copycat Beauty makeup line and I'll link it above so you can kind of see like a quick first impression but I had a lot of you guys really like that you wanted to see an actual makeup tutorial done with it so I kind of was like well I'll do one with the fake one and the original so I'm going to go in with another M441 brush this time I'm going to be using the Sweet Peach palette from Too Faced also going in with Caramelized or actually it's Candy Peach <laughs> So I don't know if you could tell because it's a lighter color, but it's a little bit more pigmented than the copycat one. It also smells better. This one doesn't really have a smell, like a good smell. It kind of was like she tried to do a peachy smell or sweet smell, but it, I don't know. It's like, okay. Um, so you could definitely tell the difference. This one is a little bit more patchy where it's kind of dark here, but not so much there. So I'm going to try to build that color back up if I can. And there is more fallout in the original palette than in the actual um, fake one. So that's really weird, right? Okay, so that's what we're going with. <laughs> so again, fake, real. This one does seem to have a little bit more of a um, pigmented, like, and it's, it's a lot smoother definitely to put on my eye, I will say that. The fake one is a little patchy. All right, so the next one I'm gonna go in with is gonna be I think I'm gonna do Summer Yum, which is that orange, like burnt brown color right here. And this one I'm gonna be using my Morphe 
M330. So that one had like a lot of fallout. <sighs> Ooh. And I'm going to put that right in the crease just to darken it up. What the fuck? Okay, so nothing. Nothing happened. Let's try it again. Okay, so it doesn't seem to really be picking up that color at all. And I'm like jabbing myself in the eye trying to get this color to lay. Okay, let's... I'm going to try to do it without like knocking my brush and seeing if I can take it in there. I mean, it looks just like the orange I just put on my eye. Okay. No, this is bullshit. I'm sorry. If you look here, it is starting to be a little patchy on my eyes. I'm going to use another M330. This is when it comes handy to have more than one of the same brushes. And we're going to go in with Summer Yum. That same burnt, like, brick brown orange color okay so you see that like I barely had anything on that brush and it gave it depth but if I were to go in like I did on this one as much as I did it would be really super dark so I'm not gonna do that because I don't want it to go crazy I'm just gonna try to even it out to look somewhat similar I mean they're not gonna look the same because they are you know two different palettes even though they're identical looking they're really not like the formula makeup and everything is gonna be a little bit different so if you see here when I close my eye how much definition this one has right around the socket where this one is just like a blur of orange hmm. like they look so much alike and when I did the swatches they seemed like so comparable I mean it's not terrible, but when you're trying to get, like, a look or get that depth like I did, it just really sucks because they, they seem to be mucking together and looking the same. So I will go back in with the Candid Peach just to blend out. I mean, I don't know why I'm doing it on this one with the fake palette because, well, it doesn't, they look the same. So I just look like I have a bunch of orange over here and no depth but it's all for the review all right so we're gonna go in with the candy peach again for this eye and i'm just gonna kind of smooth out that transition and bring up that color oh girl yes see the original blends so much better people sat there and they were like you know give it a chance give it a chance stop being biased i wasn't being biased i really felt like when I did the review that I was pretty unbiased and I gave a lot of props and compliments to the copycat before I even really used the product it was just swatches and blending on my hand it wasn't actually working with the product but now that I'm actually working with the product you can see the distinct difference so I'm now gonna go in with charmed I'm sure this is from the fake one and I'm gonna put that in my crease just to give it a little bit more depth so going in again with the M330 in the copycat. See if you look here. I don't know if you can see that. It just has so much fallout. And I'm going to go in just that. Do you see that? It's so light. And in the pan, it's so dark. That's how you know it doesn't really have any like pigmentation. Like, it just, it fades after you put it on. Like, it just doesn't turn into really anything. And I'm going to go in with Charmed, I'm sure, right here. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder, guys. I just want to make sure that you can see me. And just look at that depth that it gave. Exactly. That's my point. Like, do you see that? And I literally, that was one time. I did this one twice. Look at the difference. It's just, mm-mm. Nope. So I'm going in with the charm, uh, the camera lot, candied peach brush, and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out on both eyes so it looks 
seamless. <laughs> this literally looks like I just have orange on my eye. Like it doesn't, it's a mucky nurse. <sighs> okay, it's fine. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> Alright, so now for the lid, I am actually going to do like a smoky green peachy. I'm going to go in with the green here, and that is the color. So I'm going to go in with the Bless Your Heart green, and I'm going to put it all over the lid. I am going to be using a Morphe 124 brush, M124. I'm going to pick up some of that green. Here you go, so you can see me doing it. And I'm just going to place it all over the lid. It's not very, it's not as like, when I did the swatches, this color actually stood out the most. I couldn't believe how similar it was. So I'm going to go in with my Morphe Continuing Mist Setting Spray to try to pick up some of that green with a wet brush. See what happens. So it gives it a little bit more color with a wet brush, but it's really not like bringing me to life. I'm bringing it up in my crease just a tad because I'm going to kind of smoke it out a little bit if I can get it to do what I want it to do. Alright, so I'm going to be taking another M124 brush. This time I'm going to wet it like I did the other one. I want to give them both a fair chance. And I'm going to go in with bless her heart which is this green one mm -hmm. and look at that look at the way that color applied holy smokes however I'm not gonna lie the green one in the Too Faced seems to be a bit patchy too. I'm gonna try to go in with my MAC packing brush on both and see if I can get that color to build up. Maybe it's just the brush isn't really that good. But that's one of my favorite Morphe brushes, the one, two, four. All right, so I'm gonna take that same packing brush and go into the copycat green. I cleaned off the brush, by the way, just to see if maybe I can build it up using a nicer brush than the M124 from Morphe. It actually wound up did picking up that color a lot more. I'm not mad at it. I mean, it took a lot more than this one did. So just know that like if you get these palettes, although they're not terrible except for the matte blend the matte shadow blending issues. Um, it's going to be a lot more work and you can see the, the color difference. So this one is a lot of a uh, more olive green where this one has like gold reflex maybe is what I'm seeing in it. So it's a little more yellow. Um, so with that being said, I really do think that this one is going to be easier to use. Not that it's more or less better. I'm going to go in with my Marc Jacobs the crease brush and take that green from the original and just kind of smoke out that crease okay and then I'm gonna go with a clean brush onto the copycat beauty palette in the green again and try to smoke it out like this the more I blend the more it goes away so basically like building the color up is going to be completely unattainable okay okay it's fine All right, so this is what I'm gonna be doing for the lid, but I'm gonna go back in with that candied peach from the Good Palette, not the Good Palette, from the Too Faced Palette and blend it a little bit more because I like that peachy green color look. I'm just a big fan of like the greens and the oranges together. It's so pretty. All right, I'm gonna take the one from the Copycat Beauty and I'm gonna give it a little bedazz. Like, it's just not good. I'm sorry, guys. Like, I definitely should have done... It was more of a first impressions. 
So when you swatch them, and this is the good palette or the original palette, when you swatch them, like, they look so good. Like, I'm no joke. No joke. Let me swatch these for you. Just Peachy from the original, Just Peachy from the Copycat Beauty. So, Copycat Beauty, original. Like, they look so similar and so good, but when you start to really get in there with a brush and blend it out, you can tell. Like, look at this. I'm not being biased. I'm not being a snob because I like expensive makeup. I mean, no. It's, you can see the difference. I, there's definitely more fallout. I would have to say in the Too Faced palette, but for the Copycat Beauty, this literally, I mean, I could sit here and dig and dig and dig in these palette, this palette all day long, and it's not giving me the same pickup. Like, when I place it, it's fine, but the moment I start blending, it really just starts to disappear. Um, I am going to go off camera and put the rest of my face on, and then I will come back and finish my under eye, and then we can discuss how I feel about this palette. Alright guys, so I did my face, I put some highlighter, some blush on, etc, etc. I am using the Morphe foundation for the second time to see how I like it. My opinion did not change how I feel about it, so check out my Monday's video. I'll link it above on how I felt about the new Morphe foundation and concealer. I'm also using the new Kylie blushes, bronzers, and highlighters on my face. You can check it out in that same video. I kind of mushed a lot of new things together. So like I said, I'll link it above, but let's get back into this look. So again, the Too Faced Eye and the Copycat Go-To Beauty Fake POS side. Okay, so I'm going to go into my under eye and I'm going to be using, as always, a pencil brush just because it's more precise. And I'm going to be going in with that same brown shade, which is Summer EM right here. <laughs> they can't see it, Damien. Take me. And I'm just going to go in. And actually with this brush, it's giving me a lot of color, I'm not going to lie. A lot more color than it did over that candied freaking peach or whatever. Like when I tried to rub it over that, it just turned into a hot mess. So that definitely gave me way more color than it did on the lid, which is a shame. I'm going to bring it down just a little. I like to bring it down all the way down here and blend it out. So it just gives me that like smoky, sultry, like, yes, bitch. Okay. I'm going to go into the original Too Faced palette in Summer EM. So I'm going to take that color. Too Faced is definitely a little darker in color, but I think like with the pencil brush, they both really did their thing. I'm going to take my pencil brush and go into Nectar and pop it on my inner corner. Oh girl. Just a tad. Not that great thing. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the Copycat in Nectar. My God, the fallout in all of these. This one actually isn't as bad as the original with the fallout. Hmm. The shimmer on this one isn't so bad either. So they're very similar with the shimmer colors. Actually, I think the copycat is actually better and brighter than the original. Hmm. All right guys, so before we end the video, I just want to give 
a couple of opinionated statements um so the copycat beauty is $8.99 um <laughs> Do I think it is comparable in formula to the original? No, I do not. Do I think that the inside of the palette is completely identical? I mean, really, it is very similar. Um, I think that for $8.99, you're getting what an $8.99 shadow palette's going to do for you. Uh, you're not getting a lot of pigment. You are not getting an easy palette. Like, it's going to take a lot to build up and blend to look like this more stunning, darker color. I'm not saying that it is the worst palette I've ever used because your girl has used worse. But what I'm saying is it is not the same as the Too Faced palette. Um, I do really wish that I would have done more of a look than just swatches before I did my previous video because I was all about these. Like I thought it was really awesome that, you know, for $8.99 you're getting like almost identical formula, but you're not. The swatches are going to fool you and I should have known better, I guess, but they were so similar that it was like, what? Like this cannot be real. But then, you know, with you guys requesting me to do an actual look, I was like, well, why don't I do like, you know, the fake versus the real? And it's just, it's not... It is nowhere near as vibrant and pigmented, especially the orange, the peaches. It just doesn't pull like the original does. It does have less fallout, I will give you that. And the nectar color, like the nectar color, wait, yeah. So the nectar color is way more stunning than the original. And I mean, so there's that. It's like one shadow might be better than the other, but for the most part, these are going to be hands down what it is. This smells really, really nice. This doesn't really have a sweet smell. It more has, it's not really chemically. I'm just trying, it's like almost like they tried to make it smell like peach and failed. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Let me a comment below on what you think about the fake eyeshadow palette versus the real. Do you guys have it? Are you trying it? What do you think? Are the formulas the same? Maybe you got a great palette and then mine's just the best who knows let me know below so we can kind of stay informed with it guys i'll see you on the next one bye